here's how to be untouchable by any stupid decision, any engine or whichever framework makes that can affect you as a developer. As we know, Unity has changed their pricing and I'm not going to talk about that. I'm not going to state the obvious in a 20 minute video like most YouTubers and you know, giving their opinion. I don't care. Why? Because I'm not personally affected by that. And I can never be affected by that. How you ask? Well, first, let us put two things or separate two things. If you are a game developer, an indie game developer who is creating his game and he spent time and money building that game up, maybe you spent six months, a year, whatever. Now you have a problem. You're either going to quit your game or try to port it in a different engine, which takes a lot of time. But if you are on the other side and you're just a game developer who doesn't create his game, but actually works in a game company, looks to work in a game company, you cannot be affected by this. How? You are not connected to the engine itself. This is one thing that you need to put out of your head because engine is a separate thing, you're a separate thing. And you have your skills with that engine. Now, this is where the untouchable thing comes up. If you learn the fundamentals of game development, game programming, no matter which engine you're using, no matter if that engine comes up with a crazy pricing structure like Unity did, and game studios maybe will start to drop off Unity, move to Godot, Unreal, whatever, you're safe because you can easily transfer your skills. And this is what I'm talking about the whole time. And this is what I'm preaching in my Game Dev Pro, on this YouTube channel, with my students, in my emails, and all other media channels, whatever. Because when you learn the fundamentals and how a game is being created, these fundamentals are the same, whether you are using Unity, Unreal Engine, Godot, and all other engines, whatever. If Unity comes up, as they did with some crazy thing, and now maybe your career is in jeopardy. Maybe game studios are going to drop off Unity. Maybe they're going to move to Unreal Engine. Maybe they're going to do this or that. What you can do because you know the fundamentals, you know how a game is being built, you can easily switch over to Unreal Engine, for example. C Sharp is a object-oriented programming language, same as C++, which is used in Unreal Engine, right? Yeah, so the context and the syntax is the same. You use classes, you use inheritance, you use abstract classes, you use polymerization, you, you all of those things to build a game. Same thing in C Sharp, same thing in C++. The only thing you need to do is just learn the syntax difference, which will take you maybe a week if you're learning two, three hours a day or less. It will take you a week to see the syntax difference between C Sharp and C++ and you're good to go. But I'm going to say that you're going to be a pro, but you can dive into and probably in half a year, you're going to be a pro depending on your C Sharp skills. When it comes to the engine itself, same thing. Unreal has a scene, Unity has a scene. Unreal has actors, Unity has objects. You put 3D characters, you put them in a scene, you attach a script on them, you make them move, you make them attack and yada, yada, yada. And that will take you like what? Two, three days to adapt to the different mechanisms or basically just the different interface. Because at the end of the day, mechanism is the same. And the beautiful thing about the fundamentals, when you learn the core concept of how something works, the fundamentals are are independent from the engine version. So no matter if you're using Unity version, I don't know, one, two, three, or Unity version 1000 in 100 years, the concept is going to stay the same. It's not going to change. No matter if you're using Unreal Engine 1, 2, 3, 4, or 5, again, the concept is the same. Let's assume the worst case scenario. All game studios drop Unity. They don't want to use it because of this, which I don't think will happen, but let's say, easy. I can switch in Unreal to Unreal in like two weeks probably less, which is what I did actually. When I jumped into Unreal three years ago, I switched over to Unreal or learned Unreal in basically two weeks. If I want to learn, I don't know, Sprite Kit from Apple, I can do that in two weeks. Even though I didn't touch Swift programming language in probably six years, the principles are the same. Object-oriented programming, same thing. I can learn it in two weeks. No problem. And any average person can do that. Don't want to be a game developer. No problem. You know C, C Sharp from Unity, you know C++ from Unreal, become a C Sharp developer, become a C++ developer. Same thing, the way you create an app for a desktop or mobile is the same way you create a game 
for, you know, for a game engine or in a game engine. All of that thing is exactly the same. And when you learn these things, you're engine independent, you're version independent, you are programming language independent, you can easily switch, you know, careers, you can easily switch from one thing to another, and thus you will be untouchable no matter what engine or whichever framework, network, whatever does and decides to do. Instead of just going over and just rewatching videos about how Unity's pricing is bad and yada, 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 it's killing developers, blah, blah, blah. At the end of the day, this is my advice. Don't focus on the game engine version. Don't be excited about the game engine. Game engine is just a tool, but you learn, learn how to use the tools or how the tools work and then you are good to go no matter what happens. So yeah. That's all I had to say for this video. Thank you for watching and uh, I guess I'll see you in the next one.